Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your March 2019 love reading. This is um, what is going on with your person. So it's a little different than the last love readings I've done. It's a little bit of a different approach. So I know this may look a little overwhelming, all these decks, but I promise it won't be. And it'll go rather smoothly. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. It would really help the channel out so it can grow and flourish and we can deliver these messages to other Leos, other people that may need to hear and see them. So thank you so much for that. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, like the videos. It's the only way they will get circulated around YouTube. That would be greatly appreciated. Comment if this resonates in any way. I love to read the comments and I do respond to the comments. Uh, share to social media, media, your friends, family, anywhere. Share to your heart's content. You can check the description box below for all the decks I'm using, information on personal readings, my email, my Etsy page, my PayPal link is there. If you wish to donate, contribute to the channel as an exchange of energy, as it does take a lot of time and energy on my part to do this for you guys, but I love to do it so much for you. So any tips, no amount is too small, is greatly, greatly appreciated. This may or may not resonate with every single Leo out there, so please keep that, that in mind. So take the parts that resonate and then throw away the rest. So please keep that in mind, and it may even pick up past present or future energy so please keep that in mind cross watchers are welcome if you're watching for a leo you're more than welcome to watch and this may resonate for you and not your leo or it may so it can be interchangeable uh, and i think that's about it so i'll get started here so just a quick rundown we'll pull see what element planet or a fellow sign you may be dealing with, and then we'll look into how your person is feeling, thinking, will there be action taken? What are their blockages? What do you need to know or understand about them or the connection? Maybe some guidance for you. And then with the tarot, we'll clarify each oracle card with one or two tarot, just to give a little more insight into each card. So we're gonna get started here and uh, pull and see what sign you may be dealing with, or what element or planet. And if you're not dealing with this, that's totally fine. Like I said, throw that part out. This may be a specific message for certain Leos dealing with this sign that may be drawn. So spirit, can we have one card for the sign of Leo? Oh, there we go. Pisces water sign so some of you may be dealing with a pisces water and fire hmm that can be i don't know fire can can't you know flame and water and water can put fire out so there's going to be equal balance somewhere so now we're going to see how your person is feeling towards you towards the connection with the romance angels i didn't ask yet so spirit can we have one no so i'm not going to take these but i just want to show you what fell out we have true love and romantic feelings so i'm not going to take them though because there's too many i just want one spirit can we have that may that may be just a specific message for certain individuals so we'll see what comes out now for the sign of Leo for March 2019. How is their person feeling about them, feeling about the connection? Thank you. And we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. So maybe they feel you're a very fun, playful person. They see a very childlike, innocent quality about you is what I'm hearing, <laughs> what I'm being told to say. Um, they see a lot of fun, laughter, playfulness. 
Okay, so with this deck, let's see how they are thinking, what they would like to say. This is Spirit. Wow. I didn't fully ask, so I want to ask before I take any flyers, Spirit. But they really want to talk to you, I think. My cards are flying. So, Spirit, can I have one card for the sign of Leo for March 2019 in love? What is their person... What are they thinking? What's going through their mind? What would they like to say to Leo if they could? Can we have one card, please? One card. Oh, there we go. And that one I almost took because it was sticking out and it flew out. I don't know if you've seen that, but it flew. This is the back. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. Hmm healing so I mean that can mean a variety of things maybe they need to heal before they can move on to something new or move into something more serious it could this could be a message for people that are that were together that are separated right now or in some sort of separation maybe there's some sort of healing that needs to take place maybe things need to be more relaxed and calm and playful Maybe it was too serious before or something. So I don't know. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. This is the angel answers. So we'll see if there'll be any action taken in any way. We may get an answer, a timeline, advice. We'll see what comes out. So for Leo, for their love interest, their love connection for March. 2019 for their person of interest. Will there be any action taken in any way towards Leo? Can we have one card, please? For the sign of Leo watching my channel with their love interest, who they have in mind. Will there be any sort of action towards them in any way? Spirit, please. Oh, thank you. Perfect timing. Wow. This is like divine timing. So you see this uh, angel here and the light. This reminds me of divine timing, perfect timing. So something has to be in perfect alignment and perfect timing after healing has taken place. So things probably have to be not so serious in the future or they want something that's not so serious. So with this deck here, I'm going to see what their blockages are right now. What do they need to work on? What's challenging them right now? What's challenging the connection? We got one card for that. So Spirit, can we have one card? For the sign of Leo, for the collective watching my channel, for March 2019 in love. What is going on with their person of interest, their love interest? What is their love interest blockages or challenges right now in this connection that Leo needs to know? Just one card. That was two. One card. Just one. Oh, that's two again. I just got one. One card, please, for Leo's person. What are their challenges right now? What are their blockages right now? They need to work on this card, please. Not two, but I'm going to take this top one because that was kind of stuck in my hand. We'll see what we have. Intuitive nudges. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing intuition is one of the greatest gifts we po we possess which keeps us connected to our higher selves the universe into our divine spirit so maybe they're not listening to their intuition maybe they have these feelings these nudges this gut feeling this little bit of higher knowing um intuitive feelings but i think they're just not listening to it or maybe they think they're crazy. Um, or maybe they know they have to wait for the perfect time. So, 
Let's see. This is going to be for you, Leo. What you need to understand about them right now, about this connection that you're not seeing. Maybe some guidance for you in this connection with this person. We'll get one card for you, Leo. One more shuffle. Oh, that wasn't too good. One more. Thank you. Okay, can we have one card for Leo Spirit, please? For March 2019. Thank you. Okay. Wow. We have adult children. So, so right now, uh, maybe you are have this connection with somebody that has adult children and whatever they're going through right now, they have to heal whatever they're going through and care for the situation that involves their adult children. So I don't know if you're aware or not of any children. But this is saying adult children. So whether you have adult children or they do, um, I think it's just responsibility. Making sure everything is in order, everything is taken care of with something with adult children. So... So we could be talking about a connection here of more uh, mature people that are a little older. They have adult children. Okay, so we get one more good shuffle. These are a little hard to shuffle. This is the Chero Marchetti deck. Uh, and I love his decks. They're so beautiful. So i'll have to shuffle this way can we clarify playfulness what is this playfulness about for leo in their love connection for march 2019 with their person what is this playfulness card about can we have that's three i only want one or two at the most doing that one Wow. <laughs> wow. Ace of Wands. This is fire energy. Leo Sag and Aries. And this is a brand new beginning. It's fiery. It's passionate. It's creative. It's exciting. So it looks like they want a brand new beginning, but they want it to be more in a playful manner, not so serious. So maybe they're not look really looking for a commitment right away. Maybe they just they just want to have fun. I don't know. But that's what the Ace of Wands one, represent, you know, male. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely playfulness there. Maybe they just want to play around. I don't know. Or they just don't want anything serious right away. Just, you know, take it slow, see where it goes. For it not to be so serious. Maybe they're still healing and that's what they want to say to you. That's what they want you to know. So what are they healing from? What are they healing from for Leo and their love connection? What is this person that Leo has this connection with? What are they healing from? Wow. <laughs> wow. Ace of Swords. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is another new beginning. So this is about truth, clarity, uh, having a big aha moment, a big epiphany, clear, truthful communication. So they're healing from some sort of truths that they found out, truths that were told, but yet it's a new beginning. So I feel like I need to clarify to get one more. Why is the Ace of Swords here? For Leo's person, is that one? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay. Now we have the Ten of Swords, and this is about something completing. 
this is something ending, this is something that was totally ruined and there was no chance of reviving it. So they're healing from something that they, they maybe they were involved with somebody else and they both came to the big realization here. They had the big conversation, big communication, realizing that what once was was now over and done. And that's why the 10 goes to the ace. You have the completion and then you have the brand new beginning. So that's what they're healing from. Something that, whether it was a marriage, whether it was just another relationship that just ended. And this is Gemini energy. So if you're not dealing with the Pisces, it could be Gemini or you could be dealing with another fire sign, Leo Sag Aries or air sign or Gemini. So yeah, they're getting over this ending of a situation. It was a big, big uh, truthful conversation that was had about this ending. And now there's a new beginning. Maybe things weren't so truthful, truthful for them and whatever they just came out of. And now they know that whatever they go into now, there has to be a lot of clear, honest, truthful communication. So they're definitely healing from something that ended. Then they have another new beginning here. Again, a lot of fiery passion, playfulness. So I think they just wanna have some fun. But, I mean, that could always mean just taking it very, very slowly. See where it goes, but... Wow, okay. Oh, my cards went flying. Okay, so now we're going to look into perfect timing, though. No. So what is this perfect timing about with action, with Leo's person? Why is perfect timing here? Will this person take action in perfect timing? Are they waiting for the perfect time? What, what is that about for Leo from March 2019 in love with that person? Are you taking action towards them? What is this perfect timing, please? One card, thank you. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this still, wow, a lot of sword energy here, which is about your mind, communication, thoughts. So the Nine of Swords speaks about uh, stress, anxiety, worry, fear. So yeah, they really have to heal, heal the situation that they were in that was very stressful for them. And when the time is right, then there will be action. So that's what that perfect timing is about. A lot of swords here, wow. Okay. Oh, that's the four of swords, I'm sorry. That's the four of swords. <laughs> so, I'm not too good with Roman numerals, but uh, yeah, the Four of Swords. So this is healing, taking a break, taking a rest, recuperating, retreating from everything. So yeah, definitely something ended. There was a big conversation that took place that was very truthful and honest about this ending that they are healing from. But now they're just resting and recuperating and healing. That's two cards of healing. It's a spirit confirming that taking a break, you know, and when they've healed, then that'll be the perfect time after they've done healing. So they really have a lot of healing to do. Okay, so can we have one card for this intuitive nudges? I think it intuitively, I think they're blocking their intuition, not listening to it right now because they don't want they may feel something towards you with these intuitive nudges this inner knowing this gut feeling but they're scared they're healing they've just been through something 
you know, and they, they just don't want to uh, listen to it right now. So why are they blocking their intuition? Why are they not listening for Leo's person for March 2019? Lovely spirit. And we have one card to clarify and to nudges for Leo, please. This one, Seven of Cups, and this talks about, uh, this is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. And this talks about confusion, looking at all, all your options and having to make a decision. So, yeah, they're deciding, they're trying to decide whether or not to maybe pursue you or even look into that option. So they're not really paying attention. I think they're, they have intuition and they can feel it, but in a way they're, they're not really choosing to listen or acknowledge it. Or they even could be looking at other options. Maybe they're just keeping themselves really busy so they don't have to face, face the music <laughs> in a way. Okay, so for, wow, okay. So say for adult children, wow, we have the tree of life. And, and isn't that about like your family tree, the tree of life? And I never got this card before in this deck. And never came out. So I'm, I'm just seeing here that, yeah, definitely they were in some sort of relationship where they had children, the tree of life. Yeah, so the situation now definitely, there was an ending and now there's definitely adult children involved or children that are almost adults. So responsibilities there on their part. So the bottom of the deck, yeah, eight of swords, a lot of, wow, a lot of swords, a lot of ear energy. Again, Gemini energy specifically, or it could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this is being trapped, confined, mental entrapment. So I think whatever situation they were in, or they're in now, or just getting out of, they felt very confined, very trapped in the situation. It's like they wanted out, but... It, you know, they just felt very, very, like, in a bubble, just very trapped. Underneath that, we have the Seven of Swords. But, so this is kind of like being a little sneaky, kind of sneaking away. There could have been a little bit of lying and deceit in the other relationship they were in. Yeah, Nine of Wands. They've been through something really hard here. They fought their good battle. You know, they probably still have a little bit of fight left in them, but it's like the wounded warrior here, you know. So they've been through the ringer. That's definitely the fire energy. Uh, Leo, Sag, Aries. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Total burden. Total, total burden having to release those. And there's the Pisces energy with the moon. So, yeah, definitely... Yeah, or maybe they were involved with a Pisces. You know, that could be it too, because we got ending, you know, tens are about endings, releasing burdens, and then you have the Pisces card right underneath it. So with the moon, not seeing things clearly. Um, secrets, and that can go along with the Seven of Swords, about deceitfulness, being trapped. So I see, you know, a lot of healing has to take place. And if there was a new start in this, I mean, I, I do think maybe they see you someone as fun and playful, um, maybe exciting. Maybe there is attraction there with the Ace of Wands. Um, I don't see like wanting to jump right into something right away anyway. So... This would be up to you, Leo, you know, if you want to wait for this person or move on, that'd be totally up to you. But I see there's a lot of things here that challenges they're going through healing 
has to be perfect timing for them once they've healed, once they truly decide to listen to their gut, their intuition, and make that choice. But right now, family issues, children are a factor, a big factor in their life right now. And I think they just want to have something, if they were to have something in the future that's kind of just fun, nothing too serious. So, Leo, that was your love connection reading for March 2019. I'm sorry it wasn't too positive. It is, but it isn't. I mean, you have a new beginning here. It's passionate and fiery. And then, you know, another new beginning here for them. But, you know, a lot of truth, honesty, clear communication. So, I hope this resonates in some way. If it does, please comment. Let me know. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. Be greatly appreciated. And I'm wishing you good luck in whatever you choose to do. And sending you many light, love, and blessings. And shine your light.